My name's Rupert Ormond, Chief Scientist of the Save Our Seas Foundation. Uh, and, and it's Wednesday afternoon now, and the, uh, towards the end of the last day of the Basking Shark Conference that we've been holding here on the Isle of Man in the middle of the Irish Sea. The Isle of Man was the very first country to make a move to protect this species, which had not very long previously been uh, quite heavily exploited. We've had two days of scientific sessions, scientific papers and presentations. And initially we had papers overviewing our knowledge of basking sharks from the past, uh, and then presenters describing the situation of basking sharks in, in their own study areas. And immediately we were extremely surprised by our results we had some movement across the Gulf Stream into the Sargasso, um, but what really surprised me was this movement down into the Caribbean. And of course that's predicted by theory. In sparse distributions, animals should move in this levee-like way, sort of hopping long distances to somewhere else to best sample the environment. They seem to be moving across and along the continental shelf, um, and there's great variation in individual movement. I think the science has actually been very exciting. There's been quite a buzz among those present. Uh, it's been a bit like a jigsaw puzzle. Before we had some of the pieces, now we have got perhaps a majority of the pieces uh, and we're finding that they do actually begin to fit together. Uh, and hopefully within a few years, we'll be able to complete the jigsaw puzzle uh, and see the, the, the basking shark as it really is. Bringing scientists together uh, is so much more productive than them working uh, in their own labs or their own research areas. Uh, and even when they communicate by publishing papers or by email, uh, it only gives really uh, an outline of what their thoughts and activities are. Uh, and they don't, it doesn't give them the opportunity to compare data, compare ideas uh, and see what really works. And when they do that, it enables them not only to develop ideas about, say, the basking shark's migration patterns, uh, the factors making them feed or, or driving them towards feeding in different areas on the coast or offshore in the way we now know they do, uh, but it also means that based on that deeper understanding, we can uh, develop conservation ideas and conservation strategies. It's been an enormously successful conference and we hope it will lead on to further collaboration and further conservation measures.